Kepa's time at Chelsea is all but over, but who should replace Kepa and how much does he cost? We will take the help of data and find out who are the probable candidates for replacing Kepa at Chelsea. This season Kepa hasn't been performing as the most expensive goalkeeper should perform. His save percentage has dropped from 67.5% in the last season to 54.5% in the league. Backup goalkeeper 38-year-old Willy Caballero has a better save percentage in the league with 56.3%. And it's no secret that going forward into the next season, Lampard doesn't want Kepa as the number one keeper at Stamford Bridge. Reports from various news outlets have linked Jan Oblak, Mark andre Ter Stegen and even Manuel Neuer as his replacement. But these sound a little bit far-fetched. Are there better, cheaper options in the Corona transfer market? We will try and find out. But before we try to find out who should replace Kepa, we should fix our expectations from the new goalkeeper. So whoever the new goalkeeper is that we are searching for, must be a great short stopper, should be a commanding presence in the box, should have good sweeping ability, good long passing ability, should be young and should be good value for money. That's a pretty long list guys and before we going into the depth of analysis that we are going to do, I just have to say that sorry Andre Onana, you don't play in a top league. So finding your metrics was very tough and hence you are not included in our analysis. But given your caliber, Chelsea should and I think will make you a top priority in summer. Our list consists of 30 to 35 goalkeepers who have played more than 1500 minutes in any of the top 5 leagues in Europe and we have analyzed certain in-game statistics to find out who should Chelsea go for. Right now we are looking at a shot on target face versus safe percentage graph, which means that the keeper on the right, more right hand side of the graph had a more leaky defense in front of them and bigger and bluer the circle is represents a bigger clean sheet percentage of that keeper. This means that our choice for Kepa's replacement must be bluish, medium to large size and on the top half of the graph. You can pause the video and inspect the graph in more details but we will move on and take a look at our best options. Predrag Rajkovic of Stade de Rhin is clearly leading here. He has an absolutely untouchable safe percentage of a whopping 79.8%. He is also a big blue candidate meaning he has a very high clean sheet percentage of 44.4%. Only Jan Oblak with 44.7% has a better clean sheet percentage. And the other players who have done well in this metric are Jan Oblak of Atletico Madrid, Unai Simon of Atletico Bilbao, Nick Pope of Burnley, Strakosha of Lazio and Juan Musso of Udinese. But any keeper above 70% save percentage mark should be quite a good keeper and quite a good option. That said, how do you know that some keeper is facing easier shots to save than the others? That's where we should look at PSXG stats. PSXG stands for post shot expected goals, meaning the likeliness of the shot being a goal. Higher the number, the more difficult it is for the keeper to stop it from being a goal. This graph shows PSXG per shot on target versus PSXG minus goals allowed. If that sounds jargon, then the more right you go in this graph will mean that the goalkeepers face more difficult shots to save. And the higher you grow in this graph, the ability of the keepers to save more difficult shots increases. We can see some familiar faces here in Unai Simon and Predrag Rajkovic. Aitor Fernandez of Levante, Gauter Lazonier of Brest, Donnarumma of AC Milan also performed very well. Just a special mention to Atletico Madrid's defense, Diego Simeone's tactics, who are so well that Oblak rarely faces any difficult shot to save. So keeping in mind our top shot stoppers, 
we will look at cross handling abilities of the keepers and find out who's best at commanding the box. Again, if we look at the top half of the list, do we see any familiar faces? Yes, we do. There's Nick Pope of Burnley, Mike Magna of Lille, Raikovic of Stadura, Donnarumma, and Lasonia of Crest. It is something to notice that Oblak, Strakosha, and Testegen are behind. Probably because the teams don't have to face many crosses in their leagues. Like Atletico Madrid, Lazio and Barcelona are pretty dominant in their own leagues. Okay, no disrespect, but guys, this is not the era of Lepiachin. We need to talk about the goalkeeper's ability to be a sweeper keeper, you know, and play the ball out from the back. As Lampard would certainly want his goalkeeper to be able to do. We have plotted average distance from goal where the keepers are performing defensive actions in the x axis and number of defensive actions outside the penalty box per 90 minutes in the y axis. So, who are the above average keepers here? So David Soria of Ketafe looks excellent here. Huis Silva of Granada, Pierre Luigi of Atalanta, who had a brilliant season with Atalanta. Ramiro of Real Sociedad, Alban Lafon of Nantes is also there, Nick Pope's there too, a bunch of wannabe Neuer from Bundesliga, and Testegen. Now it's Edison time, meaning we will find the best long passes. Again, we look at our graph and find out who's the best. We can clearly see that there's a negative trend with passing completions and launch percentage. This partially depends on the style of play the team plays. Like you can see, 60.7% test against long pass completion is better than everyone, like by miles. But his launch ability is the lowest with 22.8%. I don't think it's actually low. It's because Barca doesn't really start counter attacks from the goalkeeper. That's not the style of play. Again, if you look at David Zoria's number of Ketafe for launching counter-attacks, it's very high. The highest at 86.3%. That's because Ketafe under Jose Pozayas plays a very counter-attacking style. So if we look at the style Lampard wants to play, we will look at the keepers who are mainly good at long passing and playing it out from the back, you know. That's how Lampard wants to play. We will find that Anthony Lopez of Olympic Lyon, Donnarumma, Luigi Sefe of Parma, Man City Loni, Zach Stefan, and Timo Horns there too. So we have analyzed almost every aspect of a good goalkeeper, and now it's time for the final party. As you don't know how much money Chelsea are willing to splash on Kepa's replacement, we will make two lists. Number one, where money is not a hurdle. Our fourth choice in this list is Predrag Rajkovic, the 24-year-old Serbian shortstopper who has done exceptionally well in his first season in Liga. In fact, a lot of credit goes to him for Stadera finishing 6th in the league and also having the meanest defense in Liga with just 21 goals considered in the almost whole season. Our third choice is Italian number 1 Gigi Donnarumma. The 24 year old is vastly experienced both in club and international level for his age and can be a long term option at Chelsea who are aiming high in future. Next it's Jan Oblak. He's probably the best keeper in the world but Atleti doesn't really play it out from the back so I'm not very sure about his ball playing ability but he's probably the costliest of the options too. And finally our first choice in this list is Mark andre Ter Stegen of Barcelona. Probably the second most important player in Barca after Leo Messi. Excellent shortstopper, excellent ball player and excellent sweeper keeper. He will be hella lot of expensive too, you know. Now number 2 where money is a hurdle. We will start with David Soria of Getafe at number 4. He has 30 clean sheets in 77 appearances with Getafe 
and it's in the press that he fancies a move to EPL this summer. Around 15 million euros, I think he will be a good choice. Third choice is Mike Wagner of Lille, who has been very good for Lille in the past two seasons, conceding only 27 goals in 28 appearances in this season in Ligue 1. At 18 million euros, I think he will be an excellent replacement for Kepa. The second choice is Burnley's Nick Pope at 28, soon to be 29. He's not particularly as young as Kepa, but he knows the Premier League. He has been excellent for Burnley this season, one of the main reasons for their top half finish, and I think this is a very good choice. And the man who tops our list is Predrag Rajkovic, very young, excellent shot stopper. Not the best with his feet, but he has time. But at a price of around 10 million euros, this is an absolute bargain. That's all guys, if you have someone else in your mind apart from Andre Onana, do let me know in the comments, like, share, subscribe and peace out.